on Facebook, Big John hollering at you. Welcome to Friday afternoon, everything is good. We got a little bit of rain falling here in Washington, so the forest fire smoke is finally getting out of the air. And my COVID damaged lungs are finally starting to feel a little bit better. I can actually breathe and walk across the shop rather than stopping three or four times and puffing and puffing and getting all lightheaded. But this is, <clears throat> I really don't know what's going on. This is the type of stuff that happens more often than not anymore. It's like people are not even paying attention to their jobs anymore, not paying attention, period. We go through a bunch of solvent here at the shop. We run it in our, our parts washers. There's one over here, there's one over here, there's one right behind here. And we cycle through a tank, a 55 gallon drum of solvent about Two, maybe three times a year we'll get a bucket a barrel of solvent and then when we get done using them in the when they get when the solvent gets dirty in the tumbling cabinets we take that dirty solvent and the material that's in there and we put it into a 55 gallon drum and then it sits right there it's supposed to be a 55 gallon drum where we dump the dirty solvent stuff into, and then during the weekend or whatever, the heavy particulates fall out and then the clean solvent, uh, the clean solvent is up on top. So we fish the solvent out and put that clean solvent, once it surfaces, back into this clean solvent barrel. The problem is, we just had service this morning, so I got a brand new 55 gallon drum. No complaints there whatsoever. <clears throat> and he hauled off our dirty drum. Absolutely no complaints ever. Where the hell am I gonna put my dirty solvent at now? He didn't leave another empty barrel. He took an empty barrel that, because we were out of solvent. He took an empty barrel, brought in a full barrel of solvent, put it on the pallet here, the secondary containment, and then he took our dirty solvent and didn't bring back a 55 gallon drum to soak our dirty solvent in. It's just, it's always an uphill battle owning a business. Uh, Nothing ever seems to fall into place. I heard my father speak about it when he owned the company and I was just an employee and I just thought he was kind of nagging and nitpicking a little bit. But now he, I, I appreciate him even more every day that I run this company of how nerve wracking and how, uh, how frustrating it is to run a small company. It's just, seems like an uphill battle almost every day. It's just bizarre. And I can't wait to come in tomorrow and put in another 12 hour shift by myself because tomorrow's Saturday. And that's what you do as a business owner. You just work, work, work. <laughs> it's just, it's bizarre that these people just don't pay attention to their jobs. I wish they would more often. Anyway, Friday night, you guys go out and have a good night. Take your girlfriend, wife out to dinner. She deserves it for putting up with you during the week. And uh, don't drink and drive. If you're gonna have alcohol, catch an Uber is way cheaper than a fatality wreck or even a DWI. So if you're gonna go out drinking, use your noodle. You guys have a great weekend, we'll holler at you.